Hi YouTube, Mama Two Shoes is back. Today I'm going to give you a review on a new espresso machine that I bought. It is a Brevel and I think it's pretty simple to use. I really like it. I've had other brands in the past like DeLonghi and it doesn't even compare. This one is much better, makes a much tastier espresso and it's pretty easy to do. So let's check it out. All right, now here is my machine. There are a few things that you have to have to use this machine, and it should come with these parts, but I just wanna go over them just to make sure that you have everything you need. Um, this is where I'm gonna put my milk. So you can steam milk in anything really, but you wanna make sure that it can withstand the heat because you're gonna warm it up to be about 175 degrees. So. That's where I'm going to put my milk, and I have a thermometer here so that I can tell when it gets to the right temperature. This little gadget, I have no idea what this is called, but it goes on the frother, and or the steamer, and that froths the milk. So frothing just means that it creates um, a foamy type of milk. Um, when you make a cappuccino, you want to have more froth, and a latte doesn't have froth, so you don't necessarily have to use this if you're making a latte. It just goes right on there. Um, another thing that you have to have is this jiggy. I have no idea what this is called, and I'm not a professional espresso barista uh, brewer, so I'm just going to show you how it works. I don't know the fancy names, but this little basket comes out of here, and this is for one shot, okay? There's also a double shot that comes with it, which, whoops, it's back here. And it's deeper, so you can see on the back it has two little spoons on it. That's two shots. I never use this, honestly, even if I'm going to do a double shot, I just do it twice. Um, I don't know why, that's just the way I've always done it. So anyway, that's back there. And this is the reservoir. So after you have all the things that you need, you can first turn it on. This is the power button. That noise is very normal. Some people might be a little freaked out, but that just means that the pump is working. It's pumping water into the machine so that it's hot enough. And to make sure that you have enough water, uh, you pull this out. You can see there is a, a level um, viewing window. I don't know what you would call that. <laughs> but this is the minimum level. And I honestly have enough to make one drink. So I'm just going to keep it the way it is. So you just push that in there. And while you're waiting for it to heat up, you'll see this red light blinking. And once that goes off, then you know that you're ready. So we'll wait for it to warm up. While we do, I'll show you this little gadget. Um, I do not know what this is called. Some espresso machines have this kind of mounted on the side here, and then you press your uh, wand up to flatten the espresso. But this one is its own separate piece. So let's get our espresso ready. Now, when you are using an espresso machine, you cannot use regular coffee grounds. I bought this from Starbucks. It's espresso beans ground and espresso fine, so it's very fine. And most um, grinders will have that option for espresso grinds. You can see on here, I'll show you up close what this looks like. It's very fine. So it's not like normal coffee grounds. So I am going to put this down so you can see it. All right. Now you have to make sure your filter basket is in there, snapped in. And I'm just going to put the scoop in. And then I'm going to take this flat side right here and push it down. You don't have to push too hard. Someone, I think, told me once it's like 30 pounds of pressure. I wouldn't worry about it too much, honestly. <laughs> Again, I'm not a professional. I just make sure that it's 
uh, packed down. And by now, our light has gone off. So there's no more red blinking light. And so we can get started. So I have everything ready. We are heated up. I have my espresso in my little Duma Jiggy. Um, I have my milk ready, but I didn't pour it in there yet because we don't need that quite yet. Um, all you have to do is kind of feel around till it it pushes up into um, the machine, and then you twist it until you're let's see perpendicular to the machine. Um, this says lock on it, and you'll be able to feel when it tightens up. Now, a lot of people brew their espresso shots into shot glasses, but honestly, that just makes more dishes for me. So I'm just going to use a regular coffee mug and put it under there. Now, this machine does not automatically shut off when the shot is done, so you kind of have to just um, wing it, so to speak. Some people want a really short shot that is stronger. Some people might let it run a little longer. I let it run for about 25 to 30 seconds after you hear the um, tap, 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 which you'll hear in just a second. So we're going to turn the machine onto the espresso side, not the steam side. I'm going to turn to the espresso side. You're going to hear it. Um, the pump is going to start and then you're going to hear it tap, 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 and then we're going to give it about 25 to 30 seconds. Here we go. Okay, you obviously heard it. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here and you can see it coming out. It just has a very high pressure system that pushes the water through the filter cup and out those little holes. smells so good. So we're almost done. I'm going to set my camera back down. Like I said, you'll get used to it. You'll know the length. You'll be able to hear the sounds. It's something you just kind of have to do by trial and error. And honestly, you can't screw it up. Especially when you're amateur. <laughs> So when you're done, it's going to look like this in the cup or in the shot glass. It kind of has that lighter film on the top. That's good. That's looking like a yummy shot of espresso. Some people will drink it the way it is, like that. But I like to add frothed milk, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So when you're done, you just twist it off, set it down. You're just going to throw the grounds away and if you have a little bit of water I'll show you on the top that is perfectly normal and that's what it should be. It shouldn't be completely dry. You want to have a little bit of water still sitting on top of your filter. So for the milk portion I'm just going to pour a little bit of milk in here. And this is I don't know maybe about a cup of milk Again, it depends on how big your coffee mug is, depends on how strong you want your coffee, just depends, so trial and error. You're gonna stick the wand into the cup, and now it's not hot until I turn it on, so you can use this rubbery um, pincher thing if it is hot, but right now it's not. So I'm gonna turn it on, and this is quite loud. It's very squeaky. Um, it's high pitched, but that's good. That's normal. If you ever go into a coffee shop, you will now probably notice that all the um, machines are squeaking, and that's good. And it also changes pitch when it warms up. It's really cool. So you can watch your thermometer, but the more and more you do this, you'll, um, you'll get the hang of it and you'll know the sounds. You'll know exactly when it's hot enough because it sounds different. So here we go. I'm going to turn it to the steaming section and I know it's already heated up because this is not blinking red. And here we go. Takes a few minutes. For some reason it does blink heating. I think just because it's making sure it's preparing it and that is totally normal that this started blinking. And there it goes. Okay. 
Now, while I'm doing this, I hope you can hear me pretty loud. I can kind of go in and out of the milk, as you see, and that's going to create more froth. So if you want it more frothy, you can do that. Just kind of, oops, just kind of tap it in and out. If you don't want it really frothy, you can just squeeze it all the way in. Now we're going to check um, this thermometer. And when it gets to about one, between 160 and 180, you're going to want to stop it depending on how hot you want it. I would say 180, I would not go above that or it's going to burn your mouth. But if you're serving these to people and you you know they're not going to drink it for a few minutes, you might want to make it a little hotter. That way when they start drinking it, it's a perfect temperature. And I'm pretty sure about 170 is the sweet spot. So the squeaking kind of minimized here. We're only at 120. You don't have to hold it the whole time. You can just set it there and wait. The cool thing about this is if you don't have that little frothing piece that's okay, you can froth it yourself. When I was younger, I worked at a coffee shop and we didn't have that. We just, like I was doing, pulled it in and out of the milk and it would froth it up and that's really all you have to do. That, that extra piece that I put on there kind of just does it for you. Oh, we're at about 170, so we're going to turn it off. Now that we have our milk all done, use this little pincher piece so you don't burn yourself to lift it up. And you can take your thermometer out. I'm gonna get my coffee mug that has espresso shot in it. And you can see it's really frothy. See that? Oh yeah, looking good. Now I like to use a spoon to kind of uh, strain the milk out so that I can save my bubbliest froth for the top. So we're gonna pour the milk in. And then we're gonna let the froth pour in. And that is a good looking cappuccino. So, overall, this machine is awesome. You saw how easy it was for me to do. I'm quite the novice. And I don't even know my terminology, but does it matter? Not really. Um, I hope that you like the product too. If you wanna order one like this, just follow the link in my description and it'll take you right to the right spot you need to go to. Have a good day. We'll see you next time. Bye.